So let me just start off. I'm Deborah Booker with Deborah Booker Designs. I'm in Surprise, Arizona. And I'm a retailer for uh, Dixie Bell and uh, Wise Owl, Would You Bend, uh, Redesign with Prima, uh, Posh Pigments, and also I have a line of uh, decoupage tissues by Roy Cycled and a line of decoupage tissues by Moi. Deborah Booker Designs. And so uh, I ha have a couple of fun projects to share with you guys today. Before, I think before I get started on the project, hi Kim, let me just see. Jolene, you're in Tempe, Arizona, that is cool. I do have a website that you can order online or you can place an order and come pick it up from Tempe. That's a field trip. Um, and I have a studio at Ground Floor, Ground Floor Artists in Surprise, which is worth a field trip coming from Tempe because it's an amazing place. Hello, my friend, Melissa. Hey, Melissa. Your birthday was yesterday, right? And I did send you a happy birthday message yesterday, but when I heard there was a tornado up there by you, I was in such a panic over that that I when I talked to you on the phone, I never even told you happy birthday. So everybody, tell Melissa happy birthday. Yesterday was her birthday. So let's see. Oh, well, Jolene, that's not too bad. It's honestly, Ground Floor Artists is the most amazing place. It's the best kept secret in the West Valley. And it's my personal challenge to make sure everybody knows all about it because it is an amazing place. Okay, so you guys, I want to tell you real quick, I keep forgetting to mention this. Um... I have an online class that you can take anytime at your leisure and your convenience. And I'm also going to schedule it in person. But these are really cool. Yeah, he's right here. And because I'm talking, he thinks he needs to be in my lap. Hi, Micheline. So these trees are trees I got online last year. And if you got my newsletter this week, um, there was a link on the newsletter that tells you where to order these. You can get, all you have to do is put a search in and Google, Google for, um, hmm. Galvanized, that's the word I was trying to think of. Galvanized Christmas trees. Galvanized metal Christmas trees. And these will come up. But I can tell you right now that they are on sale online only. They don't have them in the store, but online only. You can go into Michael's and get these. Um, and these come in different sizes. Um, I'm thinking these are the 18, but there's, I think, a 12 and a 14. And they also have, so this is the online class. And this is done with patina and sea spray, patina paints. Um, and there is a kit. So if you go on and sign up for the class, like I said, it's an online class and you can sign up and take it anytime at your leisure. And once you've signed on and paid for the class, you can watch it over and over and over again. Um, it also comes with, it doesn't come with, in addition to the trees, is this really cute sleigh. And I'm going to do something with it shortly to match these trees. And then this is the one I really love, are the deer. So you can do a whole vignette. Uh, hi, Tammy. So you can do a whole vignette with this set and I'm going to probably do these in rust where these are done in the copper and bronze and that gives them that really cool green patina. Um, but I'll probably do these more in the rust 
I don't know, I have to think about it. But all of these pieces are by Glitz Home. So if you Google Glitz Home, you'll find these pieces too. And I could be wrong. Uh, I should have looked it up before I started the live, but I think the class is $19 for the class and it's an online class. You can watch it as many times as you want. And um, then if you need a paint kit so that you have the paint to do this, the paint is $19 for a paint kit. So uh, if you guys are interested in that, get signed up. And I will be scheduling it live. So if you're here locally and you wanna take it in person, live and in person, we can do that too. So you guys, um, I have a fun project. Christmas is coming really fast. And you know, last the last two years I've had to do um, Penner's Conference at this time of year. And at this time of year, I was just about going crazy and pulling all my hair out because Penner's Conference is so much work. Uh, and it takes six months to get ready for it. And then it takes you six months to recover from it. it and I'm not doing it this year. So I'm super, super happy about that. Um, so... I'm really excited because I'm not doing pinners that I can actually work on doing Christmas gifts because in years past, I've made a lot of my Christmas gifts and um, I really miss doing that. So, and I would like, you know, I'm getting up there in age, you guys. I would like to get some things made for my kids and grandkids to have them maybe remember me by. So I picked up, I actually ordered this bag at Michael's and then I just went and picked it up so I didn't have to go in the store. You guys, that saves you a lot of money because <laughs> if you go in the store, you're gonna buy more stuff that wasn't ever on your radar. Um, but it's this brand called Imagine 8. And I'm trying to remember, it wasn't very much. I'm thinking it was like, five dollars or under and there's different sizes this one is 13 and a half by 13 and a half uh, by three which to me is just the right size because what i intend to do is i intend to put i'm going to decoupage on it because you guys know me i love love to decoupage um i'm going to put this mousse on the front of this bag and I'll probably do some other embellishment but it's like one of those things like when you're painting furniture you just let it talk to you as you go along and so that's that's the plan you guys but I had to put some sizing on this um, I was reading some of the reviews on these bags and people washed them ahead of time. And I was like, no, you've just washed all the sizing out of them when you do that. And then you write a bad review. Um, they put sizing in them so that they keep their, their shape. And this was a really nice quality bag. I would buy this over and over and over again. But what I intend to use it for is I'll put pretty red and green and gold uh, tissue paper in it and I'm going to put my Christmas gifts in bags like this instead of boxes and wrapping paper and stuff and then I have these wooden stars I have all of this stuff on my table you guys We're, oh here it is okay I have these little wooden stars they have the holes perforated in them and I have really inexpensive rice paper that's in this really fun Christmas plaid. And so I just traced the stars out on the back. I just took my pen and pencil. So look at this, you guys. You can get, I think the tissue's $3, and you can get a lot of these little stars. So you can make those little um, gift tags even if you aren't making one of these bags 
you could just make gift tags to put on all of your gifts. So the stars are on my website. They're in the wooden category and they're, you get six of them for $2.99. And here's one that I just decoupaged in about, it took me maybe seven, 10 minutes to do this, but I think it's really cute. And I may just take some gold uh, gilding wax and put around the edges of it. I just didn't get that far. And then I intend to make a pretty bow out of this twine and hang it off of the handle. Use your imagination, you guys, but hang it off of the handle on this package. I think it's such a cute little idea and cheap, fast, and easy. And that's something you could do with your kids and your grandkids. So let me see what... I love that moose too. Abby's here. My Abby. Oh, hi, sweet girl. She was here over the weekend and it because she's going to be going to school at um, Grand Canyon Christian University and so she was here for an orientation this weekend and it it just drove all of us crazy because none of us could see oh get off my paper puff get, ah, ah, get off my paper I don't want it punctured thank you um we couldn't, we couldn't see her. I don't know if Jennifer got to talk to her, but we couldn't see her. Aubrey and I were really sad about it. So I hope you had a good weekend, Abby girl. I hope it was everything you wanted it to be. So let's see. All right, you guys. So one more thing. When I was rooting around for stuff today, I came across this bag from uh, Beyond the Torch when I was making glass beads and stuff. And uh, this is just printed with her logo on it. But I could just put white uh, gesso or gesso, I never know the right way to say it, over it and just paint over this and decoupage over it too. So if you've already got bags laying around and you wanna repurpose them, there you go. So I wanted to mention that. So get some of this stuff off the table and let's get busy. I think that's all the updates, you guys. Um, so I think I mentioned, but I'll mention it again. So I put I took a file folder, just a manila file folder, and cut it to the size to fit inside this bag. And then I wrapped it in a kitchen trash bag. That's to, to waterproof and moisture proof this bag. So that's gonna block anything from going, anything that I paint here from soaking through, it's not gonna soak through to the other side. And then I put, uh, clear gesso on and I only put one coat on and that's sizing and that's going to protect the surface so when I go to decoupage on it it's going to be protected um, and so I put one coat of this on and I recommend you do this anytime this is what you put on canvas before you paint um, if you're doing any painting on any canvas kind of material, you wanna use uh, gesso. And I have it in white and I have it in clear. I didn't wanna use the white today because I wanted this to show through on my bag. However, I may decide I need to put some white on um, as we go along on this. So I'm gonna put the camera down. Yes, the bag is from Michaels and it's, the brand is Imagine 8 and the size is 13 and a half by 13 and a half by 3.5 inches. And I got it in natural, they had it in different colors. 
Um, you can paint directly on these. You can decoupage on them. They're really, really great craft bags, but I think they're going to make really super nice gift packages. So you guys, I'm just going to put the camera down, first of all. I tightened it really tight and it's really hard okay Okay, I thought I could be sneaky and do this with my shorts on and I just saw you guys got a good, good view of my laughter. Okay, so you guys, I find the best way, I'm doing this on this Royce Cycle tissue that has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight designs on this one tissue. Um, and they're all super pretty. She calls this one the Christmas Master Board. And um, I also just bought, I just bought from um, Amazon some postcards and some five by seven cards and envelopes because I'm thinking, and I know this is being really, um, optimistic on my part. I haven't sent out Christmas cards in decades, honestly, but I have been doing this process with, um, jelly plates and I'm going to do a live video for you guys soon. Um, it is so much fun to do and is just so relaxing and you just can't even make a mistake. Um, and so I thought on those postcards and on those uh, cards with the envelopes that I would do some of my own Christmas cards. And I could use some of the scenes in this paper and some of the other Christmas papers I have to do that with. So what I'm doing, you guys, if you haven't seen this before, is I'm taking a brush and I'm just wetting it and going down the edges. I that gives you an organic tear instead of cutting it with a straight cut with the scissors, which when you do that, it's not the end of the world, but it looks like you cut them with scissors, where this looks a little more organic and natural. this mousse. Now you guys, you can also do the same thing with pillows. So if you wanted to do holiday pillows, whether you wanted to do fall ones or Christmas ones or even Halloween ones, um, you can do the same thing on the pillows. And I've ordered the pillows from um, the pillow covers in the same fabric. I've ordered that online from Amazon before and it's really nice quality. Okay, so there's a little bit too much white on this edge, so I'm going to go back over it again. Get rid of this paper. My ceiling fan's blowing it around. But before I put it away, you guys, so see there's a really pretty gear here. I think it's super pretty. There's this pretty birds 
And I love birds, anything birds. And then there's a small one here, which would be good for like, um, door hangers. Wouldn't that be cute on a door hanger? And there's like, this one's like a postcard size, but that would be cute on one of these um, tags. And did I, oh, there's this one. And then this deer. So there's a lot of really um, pretty designs on just one single piece of paper, you guys. So, I'm going to take my brush and just go back over this edge again, because I want to get that pulled a little bit closer. Just looking to see if there's any questions, you guys. Okay, and then because it has that dark line there and I wanna leave that there, so I'm just gonna carefully pinch and pull this off. Talk amongst yourselves, you guys. This is high concentration. Okay. So that's the way I want that. Okay, so remember, I put a plastic bag and a file folder on the inside of my bag. And I opened this up to see what it was going to, how it was going to open up so I could tell where I wanted my placement. So it has this nice bottom on the bottom of it. And you can tell exactly where that bottom is by the crease across here. So I wanna be sure that's tucked back down. And remember it's got a coat of clear gesso. Gesso, gesso, I never know you guys. And so I'm just going to place it like right under where the seam is for the handles up here at the top. Let me move this down so you can see that. So I'm going to place it right up here at the top. And then I'm just eyeballing it. Well, I do have a ruler here. So that's approximately two and an eighth. And two and an eighth, boy, I'm good. Okay. So then I'm going to use my satin top coat, you guys. This is what I use for all my decoupage.
And I had some left over from earlier when I was doing that little star. Isn't that going to be cute? It's a fun project for you guys to do with your kids and grandkids. And that tissue paper is $3. It's rice paper, not tissue. And six stars for $2.99, so it's a really reasonable little project. Okay, so this is where I want it to be. I'm going to move it down a little more. It looks like you're still off the camera. And since I have it placed, I'm just going to pull it back and put down my first row. Of medium and then I'm going to lay my paper back down and I'm going to get my plastic wrap because I really want to press this in I'm not using my little felt tip because I feel like I can put more pressure on it and really work it into the fibers on here if I'm using the plastic wrap. So that that's what I always call my anchor roll row. And then I'm going to peel it back this way. And I'm going to offload away from my fold up here. and then work my way up so I don't end up with a big blob of uh, product under there. And this will dry clear, because this is satin top coat. And then I'm gonna come back down, lay my paper down. I love the look of this on here. It looks like, I don't know how to describe it. It looks old and antique down here. That's, looks like I missed a spot up here. So do you guys have questions? Is the oval centered? This, yes. Oh, well, you know what? That's a good question, because I didn't measure. I measured from edge to edge, so let's see. So the oval is three and a half there, and three here, so it's a little off center. I was going, I cut it out so that it was leaving the other portion of the design and I also wanted this burnished edge on here. So, so if that's gonna bother you, then that's something to, I didn't even catch that. So if that's gonna bother you, then pay attention. <laughs> pay better attention than I did. That was a good catch. But I'm going to come back when this is completely dry and um, do some further embellishment on it. I'm gonna take the brown wax because I like this brown edge on here and so I'm gonna go over it with some brown wax over the whole piece and uh, I don't know what else. I'll just have to see what comes to me. I did finish painting my front door for those of you that tuned in last week. Um, 
it's had its second coat on it and I got all the tape off of it yesterday. And it's ready to have the Would You Bend um, painted up because I'm gonna use the Posh Pigments on the Would You Bend. And I don't know exactly how I wanna do it, so I'm just gonna play with it. But I will videotape it when I do it and then I'll post it up for you guys. I'm just gonna play with some of the posh pigments and, and paste that I haven't used before. And if I like it, wonderful. If I don't like it, I can just paint over it again. It's just the would you bend part that's not done. But I sure love my front door, you guys. It's so pretty. I love that color green, especially when I got the second coat on it. little corner up here just does not want to stay down. I will. I absolutely will. I just haven't posted a picture yet because I wanted to get that would you bend done before I take a picture. But I will for sure. And like I said, when I paint up the would you bend, I'll just set up the tripod out there on the porch and record it. And then I'll post it up for you guys. So you can see if I come up with a good idea or a crazy idea. But you know, it's just paint. So if you don't like what, you, what you've done, you just do it over again. And there have been times, you guys, not very often, I'm happy to say, but there have been times I haven't liked something when I was done with it, and I have repainted it. And I have pieces that are sitting around right now that I, I would just as soon repaint. And so I tell people all the time, it's just paint. Go for it. If you don't like it, redo it. And if you guys are local here, this Saturday on the 8th, I will be doing a live painting demonstration in my studio. Um, I brought in a grandmother clock, a big, tall, it's probably six or seven feet tall. Um, grandmother clock into my studio and there will be refreshments and good times and that's from 11 to 2 on Saturday at Ground Floor Artist. I would love, love, love it, love it if you guys can come. Some of you I've never met in person. So I'm using Dixie Belle Satin Top Coat. Um, that's what I always decoupage with. And it gives you a really nice finish. And it's archival. It's not going to yellow and crack. I know that on some of the sites they use the um, Mod Podge for fabric when they do stuff like this. And the trouble with that is, is it is not archival. It is not gonna hold up over time. And if I've gone to all of this trouble to do something special to give to somebody, I don't want it to crack up or yellow. 
You guys, I was going through my um, hall closet looking for something earlier today and came across some photos that I forgot I even had because I don't have any photos of my teenage years, um, the early years when my daughters were born. Because um, when I got divorced, I went out the door with the clothes on my back and I never got those things. And no one seems to know what happened to any of them. So I don't have very many photos, um, which is kind of like, you know, probably what the people feel like in Florida that have just lost everything that they've spent a lifetime accumulating. Only in my case, it wasn't disastrous like that, but I'm just saying it's hard when you don't have any of those things from your past. But I did come across a few. Actually, I didn't even realize I even had them of a baby book that my mom did for me when I was born with a few of those and pictures back in the early 1950s which is when I was born were expensive you know so people didn't take a whole lot of pictures so I was super excited so I'm gonna go have them um, laser printed And then I can do some, with my gel plate, plate, I can do some reproducing. But I don't want to do it on the originals. I want to get copies made. This has got a little bit of, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. A little bit of wrinkling and texture and I'm supposing that's because I'm doing this on top of fabric but I really like that look um, and I think I'm going to like it even more when I get the brown wax out which will not be today because this needs to dry really well before I do that um, and I think I've got some Ranger Distress ink that I could go around these edges. But having some of these little wrinkles and creases in here, honestly, it will catch that distressing in that ink and just make it look even more old and vintage. So you guys, if you like this idea and you think that um, someone else would enjoy this project, I would really love it if you would sprinkle this around. And as a thank you, if you will email me your, email me or text me your mailing address so I can mail you one of these rice papers for the stars. If you'll sprinkle and send me your email address, I will be happy to send you one of these rice papers as a thank you. So if you text me, it's 623-760-6867. Or you can e email me at deborabuchardesigns.gmail.com. So that's deborabuchardesigns at gmail.com whichever is easiest for you. I would really, really appreciate it and I'll be happy to send you a sheet of that rice paper. 
Okay, I'm just going around all my little edges here. Okay, so what I intend to do with this is I'm going to let it dry. I'm gonna let it dry really well because you know this is fabric and um, I want it to dry underneath and on the top. It's not like a wood surface. Um, and then I will go back over it again and do a whole nother coat of, when it's good and dry, I'll do a whole nother coat of the satin top coat on it so it has a good protection on it. And then tomorrow I'll come back and do some waxing on it and I'll put the camera on it tomorrow and film it for you guys. I think he's super, super cute. And when I do that waxing and distressing, it's gonna blend in to this so that you don't have this stark finish going on here. But when you tie on a cute little star on the handle of the bag for your gift tag, I think that's just really cute. I think that makes a, and you got your green or your red or your gold tissue paper coming out of the top of the bag with something super special inside the bag. I mean, does it get any better than that? Handmade. So I'm gonna set that out of the way and I'm going to take this little star and just show you how quick and easy it is. I think my tissue paper blew away somewhere. Where'd it go, puppy? Yep, it's over by you. you could do this same technique on the front of an apron um, you could do it on pillows I just think it's a really um, cool project move out of the way I don't want to squish you and easy I like easy so what I did with this is Just laid my star down. And then just traced out. Around it. And if you guys didn't tune in at the very beginning, um, I was telling you guys about the online class coming up for these galvanized trees. And it's on my website. I don't know if this is, I don't wanna bring my camera back up. But if you go to the beginning of the video, um, I have these trees, the class on how to get this galvanized patina look on your trees. The class, I believe, on my website is $19. And then there's a paint kit if you don't already have all the patina paints, that's $19. So it's a really reasonable thing. And you can take the class over and over and over again once you sign up and pay for it. It's your class. It's an online class, so you can watch it at your own convenience. The trees right now are on sale at um, Michael's. And you can also just Google galvanized trees and they will come up. And there, I showed everybody earlier, there's a sled and a set of deers that go with them. So when you do these stars, you want to cut out two of them for each wooden star. 
So you can see on that one t piece of tissue paper, you're gonna get a lot of stars. And that tissue paper is $3 or free. If you wanna sprinkle and send me your email and your address, I'll be happy to mail it to you. And if I'm missing questions, you guys, I will go back and answer your questions. We're doing good on time. Molly, the bag at, at Michael's, they had a whole bunch of different kinds, and I read all the reviews. And um, the only negative reviews on this particular bag were people who washed them, and it was like, good grief. You shouldn't, you washed all the sizing out of them, and then you complain about it. So do not wash your bags. And at the beginning of the video, I put a whole nother liberal, well, before the video started, I put a liberal coat of clear gesso, gesso gesso. And I think the bag was like $5. I'll show you the bag again. They had a bunch, but I'm really, really happy with the quality of this bag. And if you like the decoupage tissue that um, I was using to decoupage on it, since there's so many projects, I think we counted eight. The name of that tissue on my website is Christmas Masterboard. It's a Roy Cycle decoupage tissue. I'm a retailer for Roy Cycle. And one thing I didn't remember when I was drawing these out is this star looks like every one of these is identical, but they're not. So when I started decoupaging my other one, I had to kind of like turn it around a couple of times before I found where it fit. I think this one fits just like that. That was, well, but maybe not. So I meant to make a mental note to mark it, <laughs> and I forgot. Let me see what questions we have. You're late, Mary. You're late. I'll show you what we're doing. Well, first of all, Mary, let me show you the bag. It's Imagine 8. And I think it I think it was like right at $5. It's Imagine 8, it, the, it's natural color, because it did come in colors, and then the size on it is 13 and a half by 13 and a half by three and a half. Um, and they had them at Michael's, and I used my 20% off coupon, because it wasn't on sale, but I had a coupon for 20% off. So um, that was a good deal. And so Mary, I'm going to see Mary tomorrow. She's coming to the studio tomorrow. So Mary, this is what I'm working on. That bag that I just showed. And then I put a coat of clear gesso across the whole front of the bag. And I've got inside the bag to protect it, I've got a file folder in a trash can bag to protect the inside. So I had one coat of the gesso clear, make sure you get clear and not white, and I coated the whole outside of the bag. That gives it sizing and protection. And then I decoupaged on this portion of that large tissue from Roy Cycle called Christmas Masterboard. 
decoupaged that onto the front using the satin top coat. And I've just set it aside to dry before I go put another coat on it. But I just thought these wooden stars would be really fun because I'm going to use this as gift bags this year for gifts for family and friends. You could do wine bottle ones. I mean, you could do all kinds of fun things. You could do pillows. Um, there's just all kinds of things you can get in. Either you can get it at Michael's Hobby Lobby or Amazon. Um, but I have these stars, these little wooden stars. And so I decoupaged one as a little um, gift tag hanger to go on this bag. So you fill it up with presents and colorful uh, tissue paper and it's gonna be really, really cute. So I told everybody, Mary, since you came late, that if you send me your email address and you share this video, I will send you a sheet of this uh, rice paper with the Christmas plaid on it. And I have these little stars on my website under uh, wood category and you get six of them for $2.99. So, and if you wanna buy additional tissue paper, um, it's $3 a sheet. So it's rice paper. I said tissue paper, but it's actually rice paper. But you can use, you know, you could decoupage your door hanger tags. You could just make regular tags. There's a lot of stuff you can do. So I'm just, I drew out on the back side of the, um, Christmas plaid. I traced out two of the stars and then I'm just carefully cutting them. And like I said, I should have marked what was the top of the star because they're not, all those little points are not exactly the same I discovered when I did my other one. And I meant to, to mark it and because I was chit-chatting with you guys, I didn't remember. If I do like five more sets of these, I bet I remember. Um, he's still setting up, Melissa. He's getting close. He's got his machine and everything. He had to build a, a work table to mount the machine on, and he got that done. So he's getting there. My son-in-law bought one of those laser cutters. It cuts wood and metal. It's kind of like a big giant cricket machine for wood and metal. It's really cool. And I was hoping he would be up and rocking and rolling by this time and making projects for all of us, but he's not quite there yet. And there's a learning curve just like there is on a cricket machine. So I'm trying to be patient, but it's not easy because I'm not honestly a patient person, so. Okay, so I got that cut out, and now I just wanna figure out where it fits the best since I didn't mark it, and these are not exact. 
but I guess that's close enough. Okay, so I'm just gonna peel it back. This would be really fun to do with your kids or your grandkids or just yourself. And I'm just using the satin top coat and putting a liberal coat. And then taking my saran wrap and smoothing it back down. Now I could use my, let's see, I didn't use my felt one on my bag because I just felt like I could get a better adhesion on the texture of that bag because it's fabric using my fingers. And then I'm going to peel it back and do the other half of it. One thing about rice paper is it's very forgiving. If you've got a good quality tissue paper, it can be forgiving also. Well, that went down very nice. Cute. Then we'll put the other side on. The exact same way. So I'm peeling that back. down. This looks like it's shifted a little bit. So if you guys want to do some of these stars, they're on my website. They're two Ninety-nine for six stars and they have the hole in them. A lot of them I looked at didn't have the hole in them which would have meant I would have to drill the hole. Okay and then this just needs to dry and then find where the hole is, the hole's right there, and poke your hole through it. And then I think the twine looks really pretty with it. So the one that I got done ahead of time, let me find my plastic bag. So this one I did an hour or so ago, and let's see. That's bronze, gold. Let's see, do I have a screwdriver in here? See if that'll work. Oh, my scissors will. OK, 
Okay, so I have some Dixie Belle gilding wax. And you just put a little bit on the tip of your finger like that. And I'm just going to rub it all along the edges. I love gilding wax. And, you know, I said these could make really um, nice gift tags. And you could just pick up the, the paint pens at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or even Amazon and just write your greeting on there and who you addressed it to with a paint pen. If you did it with a gold pen, a gold paint pen, that would be really easy and very Christmassy. Can you guys see the gold on there? And you may have noticed that I didn't base coat these stars before I decoupaged them. And um, typically, I would suggest that you do that because it would make that pop. It would make the, the rice paper, the color pop but I kind of did it on purpose this way because I just thought it made it look more vintage this way. So I just left it that way. But what do you guys think? Let's see. I'm holding it up there, you guys. I, there we go. Put it down here. So let me set it down. Let me wipe my hands off. And we'll wrap this up. So this was our project today. And we can add on a cute tag or two. Or things are supposed to be done in threes, so maybe you need a third tag. I'm going to bring the camera back up so I can say hello and goodbye to you guys. Hi, Becky. Thanks for watching. You should, Mary. It's a cute project. Honestly, it is. Um, so if I missed anybody's questions, um, I will go back and answer them. This is, this is actually drying better than it looked like it might, but um, I'm really happy with the way that turned out. When I put some brown wax on it, I'll even be happier. So once again, you guys, just real quick, and then I'll let you all go. I have the online class 
that you guys can just go on to my website and sign up at any time that's convenient for you to do these galvanized Christmas trees. They were super popular last year. And um, the class is $19 online. Hi, Sylvia. And I will be doing an in-person class in the for these trees also. I don't have it on the calendar yet, but I intend to get it on the calendar. Um, so the paint kit for this is $19. The online class is $19. You do have to buy the trees yourself. If you just Google galvanized Christmas tree, they'll come up. Um, and Michaels has them on sale right now. They're not in the store, they're only on, on sale online. And so there are companion pieces that go with it. So there's a set of these deer, which I think are super pretty. And I think I'm gonna do them in just a rust patina, but this is the name of the company that does the trees. So if you guys are interested in getting these, this was really popular last year. And like I said, you can order them right now on sale for shipping online only at Michael's. Um, and it's Glitz, Glitz Home is the manufacturer. Um, and then there's also a really pretty sleigh. And I haven't figured out yet exactly what I'm gonna do with a sleigh. I did order some posh paste that had, was like a beautiful burgundy red color. And so I'm thinking I might do something like that on it. So I don't know yet. Um, but those classes are available online right now and uh, you can get these pieces if you just Google them. You have that sleigh? It's a pretty one. So that's, oh, and then if you are here locally, I will be in the um, studio on Saturday from 11 to two. And I will be doing a live painting demo during that time. There will be refreshments and I'm painting a big uh, grandmother clock, and that should be fun. I would love to f have you guys come and say hello, uh, have a little bit of chit chat with each other, and just enjoy um, like-minded people, and check out my studio, and check, for, for goodness sakes, check out all of Ground Floor artists because it's just amazing. There's 39 working artists there and uh, they all have things for sale. And then there's a really nice boutique area from that the artists put their, their finished products in for sale. Um, it's worth the field trip. It's the best kept secret in Arizona. So you guys, thanks so much for uh, spending an hour with me today. I appreciate it so much. If you have any questions, you're dying to see what I do with my clock. Oh, it's gonna be whimsical something. I don't know how you can do a grandmother clock and not be whimsical, but um, I don't know yet. I'm gonna be at the studio tomorrow. Uh, Mary is coming to hang out with me tomorrow, and I'm gonna be studying that clock, trying to figure out what my what my plan is, because I have to bring all my stuff into the studio to get it done. Uh, Sonia, you found some on last year on Zoo Lily that were a decent price when they were sold out everywhere else. I remember you saying that. So yeah, Sonia took the class last year. You guys can ask her how she liked her pieces. Um, and I'm going to try to do, you know, classes on the deer and on the sleigh also. Um, it's a really unique piece and, and it's really popular. So I hope you guys will give it a try. If you have any questions, just send me an email. If you uh, share this video today and send me a text or an email, email with your email address, then I'll send you a full sheet, not not a cut up sheet, a full sheet of this rice paper this Christmas 
um, what do you call it? Christmas plaid for doing that for me. So you guys have a great night. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye.